Last ten. Landing a man on the moon. Eight. Returning in Seven. safely to the Earth. Made in the start. Right away, Houston. Muscle is a biological mechanism that has evolved into a highly efficient actuator. Recognizing this capability, humans have always sought to emulate muscles. Such emulation is obtained most closely via activatable polymers that change shape or size, forming artificial muscles. Among these materials, electroactive polymers, or EAPs, are the most appealing and practical actuators. These emerging EAP materials are lightweight, easy to control, and have unmatched induced displacement and operational dexterity. Under electrical excitation, they are strained or bent. The available EAP materials can be divided into two major groups, electronic EAPs and ionic EAPs. The electronic EAPs are driven by an electrical field and are the more robust group. However, they require high activation voltage. The second group is the ionic EAPs. This group is involved with mobility or diffusion of ions. While they require low voltage, they face various electrochemical and mechanical challenges. The key aspects of the EAP field infrastructure are under development worldwide. These include fundamental studies of electrical, chemical, and mechanical issues, as well as fabrication and characterization methods. EAP's demonstrated capabilities are helping to change the paradigm of design and construction of robots. Various applications are being explored for such fields as medical, aerospace, entertainment, and consumer products. At JPL, several planetary applications were considered, including a dust wiper, a robotic arm, and a gripper. Currently, new applications are being explored. Near future potential may include the development of insect-like robots. In recognition of the need for international cooperation among the developers, users, and potential sponsors, a series of international forums were established in 1999. These forums include a website archiving the progress and linking the EAP sites worldwide. The SPIE and the MRS annual international conferences, as well as the WWEAP newsletter. Further, an SPIE book was published in March of 2001 covering the key aspects of the field infrastructure. Considering the low actuation force of current EAPs, a challenge was posed to the science and engineering communities. The challenge is to develop an EAP-actuated robotic arm capable of winning an arm wrestling match against a human opponent.